Okay, folks, we are here at Rockingham Dragway at Mopars at the Rock Show. And it's a fair amount of cars here. Let's, uh, let's walk through here, see if we can video a few of them. Nice looking 340 Barracuda. Oh, the yeah. Billboard Hemi Cuda convertible. Check that out, folks. Holy cow, shaker head and all. Another custom. 340 Cuda. Here's a Challenger RT convertible with a big block. Six pack, 440 Magnum. Holy cow. We got uh, a late model rose over here. Pretty much any color you want. Challengers, late model challengers. Scat pack, 6.4. Turn you back on a little bit, find some older stuff. Okay, folks, I found some cool stuff. Let me check out this Bellari. I always like these. Right, nice little car, a 364 barrel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. pickup truck. Take care. Hello. Nice. I like your truck. Thank you. <laughs> Check that out, folks. SRT8. Yeah, it's so cool. Six sparkers, oh, flathead six. You know you wouldn't LS swap something like this, would you? <laughs> 1926 Chrysler. Got a New York tag on it. thinking about him on the way up there. He used to do round tracks right across the street. He used to have some really good runs at that place at Rockingham. Of course, he uh, you know, deceased. He's passed away in the 70s. I think he had a heat stroke from racing. It got a little hot. I understand it. Right, nice little car there. Hey, folks, how's it going? Let's see if we got the plug. How about that? Yeah. It's got the window plug. Pretty cool. That's a real deal there, probably. I reckon it was at a clone. Let's see what we have here. Some kind of This is what you call a business coupe. It doesn't have a back seat in it. I thought these were nicely styled cars. 
And this is the way I would do it. I would kind of hot rod it. Bullet lead nuts. I like this. I really do. Got a little patina. that radiator you see what I'm seeing I smell a little antifreeze leak there too crack window I got the cup holder he's got there folks and a spot of AMX Check this out, folks. The, uh, the 401 badging, did it used to be on the back? Yeah. I always liked these. I really did. Look at the instrument cluster these cars came with. See the switches here? Look at that shifter. America Motors. Everybody else. Curvy fenders. Everybody else had radios like this. 401. Nice. Very nice. Folks, uh, merging on along here. I spot a sea body. You know I got to go look at my sea bodies. We'll get back to the Shelby Dakota a little, little later. We'll check this sea body out. This is a nice one. Holy cow, this is a nice one. 68. Man, it's like, look at this. Newport. This is a nice car. My goodness. Oh, my Lord, look at that. Look at that. Yes, sir. In case you want a better look at those wheels, it's got disc brakes on it with, uh, Slotted and drilled rotors. Man, this old machine performs pretty good. Whoever's car this is, you did a good job, folks. Oh, we got a busted mirror. That's too bad. The only flaw I see in it. That can be fixed easily. Very nice car. He needs to put his Newport emblem back here. All right, let's move on to the Shelby Dakota. I always like these two. They make them in red and white. Personally, I've always preferred the white. It's a nice truck here. I think these were 89s. Let's look at this tag list. That was a one year only, 89. Yeah, year 89. My memory ain't that bad. It's bad, but it ain't that bad. Now, what was neat about these trucks, it was a regular Dakota, but they put a 318 uh, fuel and uh, throttle body injected V8 in it just for 89. And I think they only had a run of around, right, roughly around 1500. And uh, then, and honestly, only that one year. And then I think in 92, they came out with the, the 5.2 Magnum. In just a regular Dakota, you didn't have to get a special package. You had to buy a Shelby or a RT or anything like that. You get a 5.2 Magnum multi-point injected V8 in '92, and then later they had the RTs with the 5.9. All right, let's see here. We got a Ram Charger over here. Missed the Ram Charger. Sorry about that, guys. I love Ram Chargers. I've owned about four or five of them. I own four of them. It's a Trail Duster. My bad. Not on the trail duster. Same thing, just the Plymouth version of the Ram Charger. I think this is about a 79, judging by that grill. I didn't know they had the removable top on 79s. How about that? Yeah, that's a Yes, 
SUV here. Really cool. That's probably a 318. Let's see if it says 79. I don't see anything that says what engine in it. Could be a 360. Hard to say. Alright folks, I'm gonna turn you off while I go hunt down some more cool stuff. Okay, folks, this here is a Indy Pace truck. Uh, I guess you would call it, uh, oh, what would you call it? They made these. These are factory. Uh, so I guess a series of these that they made. The, the uh, Dodge supported the Indy 500 that year and uh, had these trucks that were used as the official truck, and then they sold some to the Pogia 96. And uh, they didn't make many. I've had a chance to buy a couple of them over the years, and uh, the ones I was going to buy, they, they were just in rough shape. And uh, the price was just a little high. And I said, you know what, I'll just hold off. I'm going to spend that kind of money on a collector. At that time, they weren't collectors. They're probably starting to get to that point now. You got you to buy wisely, folks. There's a time to buy. If you, you buy on the bottom, but you got to buy on the bottom when the price is on the bottom also. And at that time, the trucks were, these trucks were definitely at the bottom, but these two particular individuals were already had their prices in, uh, inflated. Don't think there was anything significant about it. I think there was just 5.2s, I believe. I don't think it was performance-wise anything special, just a, just a graphics package. Neat old trucks nonetheless, didn't make many. Oh, there's a Thunder Road, it's customized. And a Ram Joe, oh my goodness, this is a nice Ram Charger. Holy cow. Very nice. Got a big block in this one. Check out the spark plug tubes wires. Hello. I'm gonna say that's about a 76, 77. It's a nice looking truck. I wouldn't want to put this in the mud. <laughs> I just couldn't. <laughs> that's the problem with a lot of these pretty trucks. After you spend all that money getting them pretty, you stay on the pavement with them. Nice, very nice. Still has the, I was gonna say still had the gas can tank behind the seat, but I don't think it does. Uh, me, I don't know, I don't open this door. 40 Magnum, there you go, that tells it all right there. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna check the year. 78, I was wrong. What'd I say, 76? All right, let's see what else we got. Of course, yeah, you got your late model around. You can find them a lot of shows. I'm after the older stuff on my channel. It's kind of cool the way he did this one, but. 345 Amy RT. Speak it, buddy, speak it, look at that. There you go, long bed. About 80, early 80s, mid 80s, I'm sorry, mid 80s, six pound scoop. Got those AAR type stripes down the side. Definitely a nicely done truck. A lot of South Carolina trucks and cars up here, these coming not too far from the South Carolina line. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Let's see another RT over here. This one might be for sale. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, this is this is nice. I like this. Got the spinners on the SS Kragers. This is nice. Of course I say that about everything, but. I'm a car guy, I love this stuff. I really do like this car. Man, a little blackout treatment on the tail. Beating the odds. Yes sir, this is nicely done. Got a tack on it. A little street strip action going on here. I don't see no for sale sign on it, so. 1977 Aspen RT. 
Interesting. We have to come back and visit this guy. Let's see what else we got out here. There's another one of these yellow ram chargers over here. How about that? This little power wagon. This is more of an original look here. Holy cow. You wouldn't want to put this in the mud either. Not the South Carolina truck. They don't tell nobody. Damn, look at this. Folks, the camera's not going to do this paint job justice. This thing pops. <laughs> it really does. I don't think the, I don't think the camera just cell phone as good as it is i don't think it's going to uh but i don't think it's going to do it justice but i remember that special i think look at this it's almost like it's got a little bit of an orange i mean maybe it's a strike doing that but it really pops folks it really does man that is nice Yeah, very well done. Very well done. Again, I wouldn't want to put it in the dirt. Let's see another old Dodge truck over here. What we got here? Got an RT, the mid 80s Ram. Nice looking green on it. Blacked out wheels. Something going on here with the hub. Send a cat. Read, I don't read regularly, especially when you put it upside down. I really can't read then. Or 40. Yes, sir. Nicely done, little hot rod. Very well. Very well, sir. Let's walk over. I'm going to cut you off. We're going to walk over here and see what we can come up with. All right, folks. We've got a 63 Belvedere here with a big block cross ram. I got that max wedge thing going on, but he's got headers on it instead of max wedge manifolds. I don't blame him there. It's for sale. This looks like uh, Ken Johnson's car, kind of. I didn't think to ask if Ken was even going to come down here. Dang, I forgot to ask him. Man, look at this. Look at this uh, cue ball. Crystal. Cool. Max wedge super stock. Look at that. Huh. You guys read that? Uh, I think the Max Wedge cars are supposed to have a decal in the glove box. It says a warranty exempt, a warranty void. There's a couple of little things that identify them as Max Wedge cars. This one's been modified, so you, who knows. All right, here we go, we've got a charger. Sporting a small block. It's a nice, not nice little car there. See myself driving that. Seventy-one, seventy-two style tail lights on it. Let's see how close it was. Seventy-two. Dog and a rally dash. Nice. There's a Golden Commando Sport Fury. Two door, sixty-three. Look at that Sport Fury badging. I'm going to show you that instrument cluster. Check out this instrument cluster, folks. This car is for sale at a price over here. The steering wheel is nice, and that's been restored. Dash has been restored. Upholstery looks nice, looks original. Good job on this car. 
Let's see what his sale sign says here. Anybody's interested, that's his phone number. He's asking 40 grand. 383 matching numbers except paint. There's his phone number right there, folks. Name is Joel. All right, this uh, got a mod top car over here. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. 69 flip top gas cap. Check this out. This was a factory option, folks. Rare factory option. Oh man, I love the interior. <laughs> I think I love this. Flower power was in was was in in those days. Get out to San Francisco when you mod top no bar. Here's a 318 Dino 4 is currently got a 360. Yeah. Seat myself driving this, I really could. Yeah, that would be awesome. turn you off a little bit here I'll uh, get back do the rest of these cars a little bit later okay I'll take that back yeah let me uh what's going on there's music playing in the background I'm not supposed to put music on my videos without permission okay let me get that playing again let me turn it off <laughs> 